Hello everyone and welcome back with the recent conclusion of the Miss Grand International 2022 preliminary competition. I thought I would make a video with my top 10 favorite preliminary evening gowns. Now I did make a video going through the preliminary evening gown section. I skipped over the sportswear section guys. I'm just, I'm so sorry. Sportswear just doesn't hit for me. I'm not particularly a fan of going through the entire swimsuit sections and commenting on each and every person either, but I do feel like gowns, there's so much to talk about when it comes to gowns. So I did post my thoughts on the preliminary gown competition where I go through each and every single contestant talking about all of their gowns. But in this video, I just wanted to focus in on my 10 favorite ones from the competition. I know a lot of people have raised their opinions about this. Um, of course, we're all going to have differing opinions. Let me know who your favorite gowns were in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. The first woman who I thought had an absolutely amazing gown, and not only that, her performance I thought was really magical as well, was Angola. Angola came out in this beautiful red gown and she just screamed queen to me. I thought her performance was really beautiful and Angola, she's just such a beautiful woman as well. I just couldn't help but include her when I started thinking about who my favorite women were at the gown competition because I just thought that Angola carried this red gown so beautifully and for me she definitely deserves a place on this list. The next woman who I absolutely loved in gown was Columbia. Columbia had this gorgeous train, which she worked perfectly. I am just always amazed by Colombia and um, also Venezuela, but Colombia, especially when it comes to on stage performances. These women are really wow. You can definitely see that she has been training. She has really been thinking about what she was going to do on stage. And she definitely executed her entire performance perfectly on stage, you know, incorporating that gorgeous train, which by the way, she worked to perfection. That is such a beautiful example of how to work a train on stage. I definitely think that Columbia gave a masterclass when it came to working a train on stage. Another woman who I thought gave a lovely performance and had a good gown as well was Curacao. I loved Curacao's gown especially because I really felt like it fit her body like an absolute glove. It felt like she was really comfortable in this particular gown and you know that's always a win. If a woman is uncomfortable in her gown it will be it will be very apparent. <laughs> Usually you can see it on a woman's face in her body movements but I felt like Curacao just gave the most enchanting performance and her gown just fit her so beautifully not to mention it is a beautiful gown on a beautiful woman. Another woman who I thought was absolutely stunning and for me actually gave a bit of a groundbreaking gown performance was Ghana. Now Ghana, of course, when she came out in this gown, it was very reminiscent of Zozi Binitunzi's farewell gown at Miss Universe 2020. But of course, Ghana had her little own spin on it, like, you know, incorporating her country's flag in the detail, as well as many other quintessential African details like beading and stuff like that. I just thought that this gown was so unique. I would really love to see more of this, especially from African countries, because in Africa, you know, we have such beautiful styles, each country, not even each country, but within each country, there are multiple peoples with their own styles, their own fashions, which have developed over millennia i would say that just never sees the light of day especially in pageantry like this gown and south africa you know zozi binitunzi's gown in 2020 i would just love to see more of this from african countries because truly 
there there is so much beauty in african fashion that just never sees the light of day especially at pageants so i would definitely love to see more of this not only that but she worked this car to absolute perfection she had a beautiful performance and i'm not in the least bit surprised because she is sort of under the mentorship of um, the previous Miss Grand International, Abina Apia, who, you know, notably is uh, from Ghana, despite having represented the United States at the time that she won Miss Grand International. So I, I was very pleased with Ghana. Honestly, 10 out of 10, I would love to see more of this at pageants at all pageants as a whole <laughs> then i think malaysia definitely was a standout as well for me i thought this gown was just so beautiful it made her come across as a queen not only that the details the details were so luxurious and gorgeous i just think this gown fit her so perfectly and i do think that that is the, the essential ingredients to being memorable in gown is number one, the gown has to obviously be somewhat aesthetically pleasing, which can be a bit subjective, but also it has to suit the woman as a person. Not only that, of course, she has to be comfortable enough in the gown to be able to give a good performance and a convincing performance, which I think is very important. And I definitely think that Malaysia pulled all of this off when it came to her gown. This was an absolutely stunning gown. And honestly, I think that it was just beautiful. The next gown and woman that I absolutely loved was Mexico. Mexico was absolutely stunning in this gown. She worked this gown so beautifully. I was very impressed with Mexico's posture throughout her performance. Posture is very important and being able to walk properly for a gown is very important. Obviously, all of the ladies on this list executed this to absolute perfection. Mexico, especially her gown, is living rent free in my head and I, I don't think I will ever forget it. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of art really. Then we had Peru, like I said in my um, little review of the gowns, Peru could be wearing anything. This woman is just so gorgeous and statuesque. I mean, she was top model of the world in 2018, so she already held an international pageant title, although a minor one. She already did that. So Peru is just an incredible performer all around, especially when it comes to segments like evening gown, uh, swimsuit, if that ever rolls around. She, she knows her stuff when it comes to the stage. And if there's one thing that she knows, it's walking and performing and she definitely executed that to perfection. And I think that is like the frame of a painting, you know, if the gown was a painting, the woman wearing it and her performance and her posture and her confidence would be the frame supporting it. So no gown can truly stand out if the woman wearing it is not selling it and i definitely feel like peru was amazing in this gown the next woman who absolutely wowed me and i must say towards the very end of the gown segment there came some incredible gowns and i'm of course referring to uganda in this respect oh my gosh this woman she wowed me in this gown because you know at first glance this gown does seem kind of modest especially compared to what we've been seeing the trend of gowns recently it has all become very open showing a lot of skin maybe just having a a little bit of rhinestones or this teeny tiny little bra thing covering up a bit we've seen less and less actual fabric when it comes to evening gown which to each their own but i do feel like uganda coming out in this splendid gown it was just amazing it has it has sort of a modest vibe to it but at the same time very queenly and splendid overall this gown it just elicit feelings of nobility within me and i do feel like that is what made it so beautiful of course also the way that she was carrying it just splendid then of course i cannot go without mentioning the united kingdom's gown this gorgeous creation just evokes feelings of you know fire and energy and it it's 
honestly it is such a beautiful gown and she promoted it beautifully as well the way she was walking in it you can actually just see from her performance that this gown was giving her the power and the energy that she needed to give us a great performance and honestly this is this is really a beautiful gown. This is a beautifully created, well thought out piece of art. And honestly, it's just lovely. I would love to see more gowns with so much thought put into them in the future. And lastly, I know this will be a bit controversial because I haven't seen this woman mentioned in a lot of people's favorites for gowns, but I definitely thought that the US did something with her look for the evening gown competition. I mean, this woman, she she's basically like a caricature of the 1989 version of ariel i mean she has this like pale skin with this green or blue eyes and she has this gorgeous like flaming red hair but then she's also wearing complementary colors to red which is purple and green and i definitely the instant name that came to my head when i thought what would this gown be called it's like a lavender type of gown right because the lavender is a type of flower in fact it instantly reminded me of a little bouquet of fake lavenders that I have in my living room with the greenery at the bottom and the and the like um, purple lavender color on the top. I thought this was genius to be honest with you because it suited her so perfectly. I just thought like there couldn't have been a more perfect gown for this woman's complexion. Not only her complexion but her overall colors that she has including the flaming red hair. But anyway, guys, those were my thoughts on my top 10 favorite gowns from this year's competition. Obviously, in no particular order. Well, in alphabetical order, but you know what I mean. Let me know who your favorites were in the comments down below. I'll be posting my official prediction for this year very soon. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.